So today I'm gonna to show you how to make homemade pizza, um, almost homemade. I don't do my crust homemade totally. I cheat and I use Jiffy Mix. It's about 50 cents a box, but I don't follow the recipe on the box. I found that um, the Martha White crust is more expensive, but it calls for adding oil also and covering the dough for a couple of minutes. So I altered um, the cooking directions to um, add a little, about a tablespoon of oil to the outside of it and let it set for five minutes. So let's show you how to do it. Well, you know, things are very different back then. In those days, it was very little water. We barely survived from day to day. So I use a square pizza pan. It's plenty used and greased up. Um, I like to do, because I'm doing the bigger pizzas, about one and a half boxes of the Jiffy Mix. Now on the Jiffy Mix container it says a half a cup of hot tap water. You don't necessarily want to dump right in your half a cup for your one box because sometimes it is too much and then it makes it hard to work with. I used to roll my cook my pizza dough out and decided that I didn't like to do it that way so much so I started doing it just pushing it into the pan with my fingers which is why I quit using the pizza pans because we have the air baked pizza pans and the air baked have holes on the bottom to help it cook evenly and when you try to push that into the pan uh, they go through and it makes just quite a mess inside of the oven and in your pan uh, and on your counters when you're cutting it so unless I'm gonna roll it out I don't use those pans anymore this pizza recipe and method of making it is really quick I used to fuss with the yeast and making the sauce from paste and oregano and basil. It got to be a lot of work. Good money savings way to do it if I have time to make it ahead and can it into pint sized jars. But since the babies came, I haven't been doing that so much. Okay, so I had measured into here a little over a cup of water, and I have used a little bit over a quarter, um, three quarters of the cup of water. So that was for about one and a half containers of the Jiffy Mix. So I've got it all mixed up, and I use this a fork to mix it up. I just really like it that way. Now what I do is, and I don't measure this out, I just drizzle about a tablespoon of oil, and this is per the Martha White instructions. Jiffy Mix does not call for it, but it's so gooey and sticky without the oil that it makes it really hard to work with. So what you're going to want to do is cover that with a towel. Again, this is not on the Jiffy Mix container instructions. The Martha White recipe says to cover it with a towel. So go ahead and let that sit covered for a couple of minutes. This is a good time to clean your hands from the dough and to prep your pan. So you want to coat your pan with either cooking spray or with lard um, or shortening. So I have um, pre-sprayed my pan with cooking spray. I get the Meyer sliced pepperoni for $1.89. This just recently went up. It had been $1.88 forever. And it is six ounces. The Hormel brand at Meyer's is about $3.29 for the same ounces, so we always get the Meyer in. I have, um, this week, Meyer cheese is on sale. So I got, um, so I got mozzarella, and I like to do a little bit of mild cheddar or sharp cheddar, just to change it up a little bit. I always like to use my 
time while my dough is setting to get all my packages open because once you start spreading the dough out, the fingers are going to be greasy. And with these Ziploc con containers, it makes it hard to get them opened once you're going. So rather than bother somebody else in the house to get things open, I just try to get it ahead. Um, another really favorite of um, everyone in the family is to get the deli pepperoni. It's bigger slices. They are about, um, I guess about three or four inches, well, three inches round. Very good flavor, not as much grease, and you can have it cut to the thickness you like. And then I always use, for this size pan, one can of pizza sauce. And this is a 15 ounce can. Go over this way. Go talk to Trey. Starting to get old. We're going to let that sit for just a minute more. Okay, so the dough has puffed up quite a bit in about four or five minutes and what you want to start with is have your hands oily so that the dough does not stick to you. So what you do is you just use your fingertips and it is customary in this house all the time, doesn't matter what time of day it is, if they're sleeping or awake, Mom always gets a crying baby whenever I make pizza. I realize this because it's always when my hands are a mess. I'm sure it's the same way in your house. And of course everybody took off because it's dinner time so that nobody has to help. It's just like the story of the little red hen. Everyone will show up to eat it, but nobody wants to help. And in general, with the teenager, she ends up showing up much later just to eat it up. Just when you think that there's a piece left for you, you show up to the kitchen and it's gone. Okay, so what I've done is... I've just patted this out into the pan up to the corners. Now using my spoon, try to get as much of this out as you can. Some people like more sauce, some people like less. This amount always works good for us and I just use the back of a spoon. The bigger spoon tends to help a little better for spreading it out. And there are pizza sneak seasonings that you can add. Um, this sauce has quite a bit of season already in it. And every time I use the pizza seasoning, the kids say it's too hot. Jack says it makes them go, <sighs> because it's too spicy on his mouth. So spreading it out evenly so there's not too much in any one spot. I like to start with my white cheese. And I'm just using up a couple containers here. No. So this is my mozzarella cheese. And I like the regular slice, not the fancy. 
or fancy shredded because it's so small. Yes, that's Jack. He likes to make his movies on YouTube also. If you subscribe to our channel, if you have little ones, you can see Jack making videos with race cars and Thomas. So this is one bag of cheese. I usually like to do a little bit more. Don't interrupt. But this time I'm using two different kinds of cheese. So generally, um, this is a eight ounce bag of cheese. already open so about 16 ounces of cheese is good. I like to use the pre-shredded. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't interrupt. Okay. And um, at this point if you want to add any vegetables or meat then you just top it however you like. And we like lots of pepperoni in this house. Um, occasionally they like some other things like pineapple or mushrooms. So you just spread it all out like that, put it in the oven. Uh, let's see, the box says for 18 to 20 minutes. 